it's extreme physics. And tonight, our contestants need laser-like concentration. They are Betty from Ballymena, Ali from Akadui, and Liam from Limavadi. And here's your host, Isaac Neutron. Hi, everyone out there in physics land. Get your shades on, because tonight's show is all about light. And we have our own little ray of sunshine here to tell us all about it. Dr. Rula! Yes, Isaac. Today, we will be investigating the refraction of light by using ray tracing to measure the angles of incidence and refraction when light is refracted by a glass block. Dr. Rula, you light up my life. <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. For this experiment, we will require a rectangular glass block, a laser pen, white paper, a pencil, and a protractor. First, we place the rectangular glass block on a sheet of white paper and draw around it. We remove the block and mark a point a third of the way along the longest edge and draw a normal through it. Then, using a protractor, we measure angles of incidence from this normal of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70 degrees. Next, we draw in the incident rays corresponding to these angles and label them A, B, etc. After replacing the block on the outline, we shine a ray of light along the line marked 20 degrees and use pencil crosses to mark the direction of the emergent ray. We draw it in on the diagram and label it A. After removing the block once more, we can join the incident and emergent ray together with the line corresponding to the refracted ray. Mark in the angle of refraction R between it and the normal. Finally, we measure the angle of refraction R with the protractor and record both it and the angle of incidence I in the results table. We then repeat the procedure for each of the incident rays. Record each angle of incidence and corresponding angle of refraction in the results table. Now we can plot a graph of I against R and draw a curve of best fit. The graph shows that as the angle of incidence I increases, the angle of refraction R increases. They are related but not directly proportional as the line of best fit is not a straight line. Rula, you never fail to amaze us, but now it's time to play Extreme Physics! So contestants, it's time to see the light. We've aimed a deadly laser beam at the side of a glass block. On the other side of the block is Jim, a courageous audience member. As you know, light changes direction when it enters glass, and when it exits glass, its path will alter again. But which way will it turn when we lift the gate to let it shine? Where should Jim stand to avoid being incinerated? At point A or B? Get it wrong and Jim is in trouble. Get it right and you'll win a glass paperweight and laser pen. So, Rula, what does the future hold for Jim? I have high hopes he will survive. This is not a difficult question. Three, two, one, go! Ali from Akadui, what's your answer? B. Rula, is he right? Lift the gate. We know that the light bends away from the normal when traveling from glass into air. So B is correct, and Jim can go home with his family. It was never in doubt, Jim. Please for the family. So, it's good night from everyone here at Extreme Physics. And you know what I say, if it ain't fun... It ain't physics!